Shabbat Shalom. Well, it keeps going each week. We're not together. But it's getting closer and closer to the time where I know we'll be able to be together as a congregational family. As we join together in this video service, I want you to please join me in taking a deep breath in and exhaling out. And hopefully you've gone pishin already so we can enjoy the next hour or so together. We begin with Maya Fehayom on page 128. Continue with Lecha Dodi on pages 138 and 139. Thank you. 
continue the lighting of our Shabbat candles on pages 120 and 121. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us, as their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. tradition. As we welcome Shabbat, Shabbat, I invite you to welcome, if anyone's with you, wish them a Shabbat Shalom, even if you have a four-legged member of your family with you right now, wish them a Shabbat Shalom. We continue with Baruch Hu. please rise if you are able, but you're at home, you can do whatever you want, <laughs> as we continue with Baruch Hu. page 146. Continue on page 149. Please join me if you're able. Praise to Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, for whom the evening flows, Baruch Ta'adonai HaMa'ariv Aravim. Page 150. <laughs>
invite you to join us in taking a deep breath in and exhaling out as we continue with Shema on pages 152 and 153. Continue on page 154 with Ve'ahavta. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol levavcha uvechol nafshecha Uvechol meodecha Ve'hayu harvarim ha'ele Asher anuchi mitzavecha Hayom alevavecha, vishinantam levanecha, vidibarta bam, bishivtecha, bevetecha, uvlechtecha, vaderech, uvshoch becha, uvkumecha, uksartam leot al yadecha, vehayulet otafot benecha. Uchtavtam al mezuzot betecha uvisharecha lemantis keru vaasitem et kol mitzvotai vitem kiroshim lelohechem ani Adonai elohechem asher hotzei etchem meeret mitzrayim. Liot lachem lelohim, ani Adonai Elohechem. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you this day. Impress them upon your children. Recite them when you stay at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Thus you shall remember to observe all my commandments and to be holy to your God. I am Adonai your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai your God. We continue responsively on page 157. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say out and I, there's one God in heaven and earth. The, the high heavens, heavens declare your glory. May earth, earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt we were delivered. At Sinai we bound ourselves to your way. 
inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. We continue with Micha Moch on page 158. Sixty-one. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up, waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai, ha-poreh sukat shalom aleinu, v'kol amo Yisrael v'al Yerushalayim. We continue on page 162 with Vishamru. Continue now the central portion of our worship with our tefillah on pages 164, 166, and 168. Please rise if you are able.
Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ael Hagadol, Hagibor, Vehanora, El Elyon, Komel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezocher Chaste Avot, Veimahot, Umevi Gehula, Livne Venehem, Lemaan Shemo Beava. Melech Ozer Moshia Magain, Baruch Ata Adonai, Magain Avraham, Bezra Tzara. Ata Gibor Leolam Adonai, Mechaye Hakol Ata Rav Lehoshia, Mashiv Haruach Moril Hakashem, Mechalkel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye Hakol Berachamim Rabim, Somech Noflim Berofe Cholim, Umatir Asurim, Umekayem Emunato, Lishene Afar, Mechamocha Baal Givurot, Umito Melach, Melech Mimit Umechaye, Umats Miach Yeshua, Veneemanata Lehachayot Akol, Baruchata Adonai, Mechaye Akol. Ata Kadosh Veshimcha Kadosh, Ukroshim Bechol Yom Yahalelucha Sela, Baruchata Adonai, Page 171. Days pass and the years vanish, and we walk sightless among miracles. God, fill our eyes with seeing and our minds with knowing. Let there be moments when your presence, like lightning, illumines the darkness in which we walk. Help us to see wherever we gaze that the bush burns unconsumed, and we, clay touched by God, will reach out for the holiness and exclaim in wonders, how filled with awe is this place, and we did not know it. Bless is the Eternal One, the Holy God. Baruch atah ha'el ha'kadosh. Page 175. We join together. You are with us in our prayer, our love, and our doubt, and our longing to feel your presence and do your will. You are the still, clear voice within us. Therefore, O oh God, when doubt troubles us, when anxiety makes us tremble, when pain clouds the mind, we look inward for the answer to our prayers. There may we find you, and there find courage, insight, and endurance, and let our worship bring us closer to one another, that all Israel and all who seek you may find new strength for your service. Baruch ata Adonai, she'odcha levadcha bi'ira na'avod. We continue on page 178 with Shalom Rav.
invite you to join me in taking a deep breath in and exhaling out. And as we breathe in now, I invite you to feel that sense of connection that we must feel even during these difficult times. And exhale out all that fear that you're feeling right now. Another deep breath in as you breathe in that sense of Shabbat peace. And exhale out Mishagas. As we pause now in silent reflection. This evening's parasha is another example of how our Torah just seems to know what we need to hear. Tzav is this week's Torah portion's name. It's part of the book of Leviticus. But what's so important about this week's parasha is its intention. Its intention is to remind the Israelites the importance of sacrifices. Okay, nothing new. But when you take a look at what the portion's really saying, and I always think you have to look at the shoresh, the the verbial form of the root, the shoresh, you'll see the word hitkarev or lehakriv, which means to bring us closer, to connect us. Hmm. The goal of the sacrifices, as many of you have heard in the past, of the korbanot, is to bring us closer to God. But lehakriv, to bring ourselves closer in general, not just to God, but to each other. The point of doing rituals, according to this week's portion, is for us to better connect with one another. Oy vey, what a challenge this is right now when we can't even be closer than six feet apart. We can't even be in the sanctuary right now. As I speak to you, I am alone in the sanctuary. This is no l'hakriv. This is being alone. So how do we possibly feel that sense of connection with one another if we can't even be in the same space? Well, we are truly blessed to live in a time where we have this amazing technology where we can look at each other as we are right now through our television or through our monitors and we're able to feel that sense of connectedness even if we're not in the same space. My friends, what an opportunity for us as we are stuck in our homes to really feel that sense of connection in a very unique and different way. For me, just hearing a voice of someone I'm connected with feels wonderful. Seeing their punim, seeing their face, I feel the same way. We still have that opportunity, thank God. Can you imagine this happened 50 years ago? We couldn't have any connection with each other, only on phone. Now look at the opportunities we have. So I hope that each week you're trying to find someone different who you've not connected with and to call them up and to talk with them or to do a video chat with them. Give me a call if you want to talk to someone. I would love to hear from you. But it's so important right now that we don't lose sight of the essence of this parasha. And that is the need for us to feel a sense of connectedness with one another. For us to feel a sense of being close with each other. May we, through our very unique actions this time in our lives, feel that sense of connection. And may we, as we prepare for Pesach, understand that that connection is not about physicality. It's about the spirit. Shabbat Shalom. We continue with Elena on page 586. Please rise if you're able. Elena, the Shabbat Shalom, Hakol, La Tate Gidula, Leo Tsebreshit, Shevuno Teshamayim, Veo Seraretz, Umo Shevikaro, Bashamayim, Mimal. Ushina to Zobeg of Hemeromim, who Elohe no enod, Baanach no Kodim, Umishta Havi Modim, Lithne Malach, Malache Hamlachim, Akadosh Baruchu. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, I
Ushema, Ushema, Ushema. We now focus our energies toward those who are ill and in need of healing. On this Shabbat, we think of Jason Adams, Adam Beresh, Chana Bat Miriam, Eliana Bat Chana, Tony Berliner, Dr. Arnold Berliner, Robert Berg, Barbara Berlant, Sarah Beinstock, Sandy Beinstock, Rich Burns, Esther Burton, Simone Cardinal, Mal Kosman, Hadley Crane, Rebecca Lindecker, Elise Epstein, Peter Fadham, Jason Fishoff, Carolyn Franklin, Sandy Friedman, Jennifer Guerrera, Courtney Hansen, Lee Henderson, Celeste Hutchinson, Barbara Jackowitz, Evelyn Katz McCosker, Jerry Kane, Patrice Lacey, Leah Svia Batliba Ve Elchanan, Janice Lucero, Young Song Lot, Father Bill Leninger, Shirley Lerner, Gary Levine, Penny Levine, Austin Lucero, Patrick McCluskey, Eva Misley, Henry Malconi, Peggy Monroe, Melanie Pearson, Judy Pell, Carol Ross, Marilyn Rudy, Matthew Rudy, Jenny Rudy, Richard Rusnak, Dolores Sams Hoy, Laura Sanders, Marilyn Silver, Sybil Summer, Donna Thyman, Pham Tai Trang, Martha Walker, Teresa Walsh, Claire Cecil Watson, Jeannie Watson, Nancy Weisenfeld, Dana Williams, Karen Williams, Sue Witten, Sherman Wong. As we now continue praying for their better health as we join together in Misha Berach. On this Shabbat, our congregation recalls those who have most recently died, but whose lives remain as sacred blessings. We especially think of Beverly Furman, who was laid to rest this past week, as well as those that are grieving the Shloshim, the 30-day period of mourning for Bert Epstein, Nancy Feister. We also think of those that are grieving the Shana, the first year of mourning, for Rabbi Samuel Brody, Carrie Broding, Laura Bruckheimer, Alexander Brustein, Stephen Ronnie Bush, Dr. Bernard Cohen, Vivian David, Jean Donnelly, Michael Dubrow, Marie Edwards, Mark Emanuel, Glenn Farber, Jackie Fazio, Marvin Fox, Melvin Grant, 
Lorna Hoffman, Joan Hammer, Susan Hammer, Erwin Jacobson, Dolores Jaffe, Seema Jaffe, Lori Kaplan, Brana Reuven Kate, Howard Kaufman, Vera Kessler, Rabbi Peter Noble, Lori LeMay, Morton Levine, Ray Levine, Judy Siegler Lieberson, John Myers, Irene Neal, Edith Rosenberg, Barbara Runecki, Marion Pattinson, Victor Ratner, Fred Retchen, David Reisner, Leo Rinsler, Ron Roth, Karina Salzman, Lorraine Samuel, Jane Schwartz, Arthur Silver, Sophie Siemens, Alice Glar, Sandra Sokolek, Bruce Summer, Bernard Spillman, Joan Rusnak Weinberg, Jill Wernick. We also think of those yard sites we observe on this Shabbat as we think of Florence Ames, Lucille Aronoff, Leon Thomas Aronson, June Stein Atlas, Elsie E. Atlas, Abraham Bortz, James Edward Carr, Jack Chadoff, A.B. Cohn, Carlo Dolaroca, Max Ehrlichman, Sarah Enton, Stanley Gold, Barbara Grossman, Herman Gunnar, Bob Jaffe, Paul Jaffe, Rose Kahn, Emmy Lou Levin, Mort Levin, B. Levy, Martin Lotman, Joe Marr, Celia Miller, Rose Mintz, Dorothy Nadell, Josephine Namark, John Newman, B. Levy, Martin Lotman, Joe Marr, Celia Miller, Rose Mintz, Dorothy Nadell, Josephine Namark, John Newman, Kenneth Perkins, Eulalia Rose, Marion J. Rosenthal, Richard Rosette, Sarah Roth, Harry J. Sapper, Dr. Carlo Singagalia, Hova Stateman, William Schulman, Beatrice Sillen, Marcia Silver, Sheldon Singer, Loretta Wasserman, Benjamin Zinker. Zichronam Livracha, may the memories of our beloved ones always be a memory. We continue on page 598 with Kadish Shatom, our mourner's Kaddish. Yitkadal ve yitkada shmei rabba, ve alma divra chirute ve amlich mal chute, ve chayechon of yomechon, uf chaye de chol be Israel, bagala vuzman kari vimru amen, ye shmei rabba mevorach leolam olme almaya, yit barach ve ishtabach, vit paar vit romam vit nase, vit adar vitale vitalal shmei de kudesha brechu, leolam in ko berchata ve shirata, Tush bechata v'nechemata, da amiran v'elma v'imru, amen. Yehei shlomo rabba m'shemaya, v'chayim alenu v'akol Yisrael, v'imru, amen. Ose shalom b'mromav, hu yase shalom, alenu v'akol Yisrael, v'kodam v'imru, amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who are grieved among us, or wherever they may be, as we say together, amen. with a song for peace, O say shalom.
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.